आप देख रहे हैं ये मई जून 2000 एंड दिस इज मई जून 2010 अह एंड इट्स अ सिंपल ग्राफिकल क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स बिगिन अह आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू फोकस ऑन द स्क्रीन इट सेज टेबल 1.1 शोस द मास ऑफ अ बनाना फ्रूट मेजर्ड ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ 3 वीक्स ठीक है नाउ यू कैन सी अ टेबल uh always whenever you will get graphical questions you will come across tables like this now there is some intricate detail uh, to this lekin i will try and make things very simple always remember uh koi bhi table ho uski extreme left side pe the extreme left side which i mean in this case there are only two sides the extreme left side will always contain uh something which is known as the independent variable now it's okay if you don't understand what is independent variable at the moment but i want what i want you to remember is take that as a tool card if you like anything in the table that happens to be on the left hand side you will automatically take that on the x axis that's a rule theek hai and uh, just to tell you if we're talking about the dynamics of a graph this axis is the x axis and this axis happens to be the y axis okay as you're going up the y axis the values they increase okay the values they increase of course as we go down uh, the y axis the it's the same will happen the values will uh, it decrease and as we go right on the x axis the values they increase this is simple basic graphical dynamics okay all right now on the table i can see day there are no units as such that they've mentioned uh lekin is side pe aap dekhe unhone units mention ki hain these units are very important and i'll tell you why that's the case so it says in the question construct a graph of these results on the grid provided now always you will see that the marks are four marking points theek hai और मैं साथ ही देखें आपको मार्क्स की बल्कि आई आई राइट एम पी वन एम पी टू एम पी थ्री एंड एम पी फोर द एम पी स्टैंड फॉर मार्किंग पॉइंट सो लेट्स सी हाउ द मार्किंग ऑफ द ग्राफ्स वर्क सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वुड वांट यू टू डू इज वेन एवर यू आर ड्राइंग अ ग्राफ फ्रॉम अ टेबल ऑफ कोर्स इज दैट यू लेबल दी एक्सेस आपने एक्स एक्सिस पे किसी को लेबल करना है डेज को लेबल करना सो आई एम गो डाउन ऑन दी एक्स एक्सिस एंड वेरी नीटली आई एम गोइंग टू राइट डेज नाउ सिंस देयर नो यूनिट्स गिवन ऑन द टेबल सो दैट डज नॉट कंसर्न मी वेयर एज फॉर वाई एक्सिस आई कैन सी मैथ सो व्हाट आई विल डू इज यहां पे लिखा हुआ है मैथ इसको मैं बिल्कुल ऐसे ही लिखे मैथ एंड देन आई शुड नॉट फॉरगेट टू राइट डाउन द यूनिट्स डोंट फॉरगेट units if you forget units guess what will happen you will lose marks how can i say this uh look at the marking points x axis labeled yahan pe is marking scheme usne likha nahi hua but usually you will find a plus sign uh, written in the mark scheme with this and plus kya ke likha hoga units what does the plus sign in the mark scheme mean it means that if what is coming after plus the candidate has not written that you will not get the entire point in its entirety okay so <clears throat> once the examiner is checking my paper he sees that i've um, you know labeled the x axis i've labeled the y axis with the units guess what i get the first marking point okay that's the first marking point all right अच्छा उसके बाद हम क्या करेंगे the next thing that we have to do is now we have to select a suitable scale let's first talk about x axis the values are starting from 1 and they're going all the way up till 21 ठीक है तो अब अगर आप देखें i know uh, uh, in this particular graph if you notice after every i mean let me draw that here ye dekhiye main ek bade box ko is tarah green color se highlight kar raha hu and you can literally see Ten small boxes in this big box. Okay, so of course, when you have the paper in front of you, it will make more sense. Uh, but when while choosing the scale, it is very important you select things accordingly and appropriately. Now, 
X axis is starting from one and going up to 21. I can start with a zero, doesn't make a difference. So maybe what I can do is um, I can select 10 boxes to be representative of five days. And then again, the next five days makes it 10. This makes it 15 and this makes it 20. And maybe this makes it 25. TK. Uh, remember the rule. The rule is that you have to at least, sorry, bad spellings. Aapko kaise pata lagega how much of the given graph space have to be used? At least 60% of the grid has to be used. Aap scale is tarah select karein ke you at least use 60% of the given graph, okay? So clearly I can, you can see that the maximum value is going till 21. So 21, agar yahan tak bhi ja rahe, to I am using my maximum majority 60% of the given space. So that is as far as the labeling of the X axis is concerned. Now look at the uh, Y axis very carefully. Y axis ki minimum value is starting from 98 and it goes up till 152. Now there are two ways in which you can approach this. Uh, ya to aap zero se shuru kar sakte. Ya fir you can uh, add a break to the line as they say. But I mean, honestly, even if you don't do that, that doesn't make any difference. So let's begin with zero anyway, because I don't want to cause confusion. So it's going up to 152. So let's say um, this is, uh, let's suppose, time is it? Uh, all right, where's my pen? There is my pen. So the starting value is 98, okay? Uh, if I say that this is representing 50, this is uh, representing 100, this is representing 150, and this is representing 200. For the sake of argument, so what I've done is, on y-axis, 10 small boxes are representing 50 grams on the y-axis, okay? Um, okay, fair enough. Now let's use uh, this to construct a graph, okay? Up uh, day one pay the mass is 52. So what I'll do is I'll go to day one, which is this. Now let me choose another ink so that I can make it more clear. Let's do it with an orange ink. Okay. Day one pay the value have a that is uh, 152. So simply what I do is day one, find 152. So 152 should be somewhere around this point. point quick pinpoint I think let's do it with a black color. Zada prominent hoga. Okay. All right. Always remember this is how you mark points on the graph. The bache cross bhi karte the hain, khali dot bhi laga dete hain. Dot laga ke upar in circle karna is the best option that I um, recommend. Okay, all right, then uh, day four, you have 146. Okay, if this is day four, then where is 146? Well, let's see, this is 110, this is 120, this is 130, this is 140, and somewhere around here. Okay, we have day six, 140. So day six is this, and 140 is going to be, let's say, I can always, I, of course, in the exam, you can always use the ruler. I'll do the same uh, so as to avoid confusion. So we have at day six, 140. So if this is six, 140 is going right the way, 110, 20, 30, and 40. Okay, so somewhere here. All right, Achaji. the next point is seven, 138, okay. So seven and then 138 is supposed to be somewhere at 20, 30, somewhere here. Okay. And then, um, day one, and then you know, 10 is 126. 10 is 126. So this is 10 or 10 K against 126 somewhere around here. Okay. And then 12 is 122. 12 is this, 122 is supposed to be somewhere uh, around here. 
And then we have day 15, that is 114. So 114 is supposed to be somewhere around here. And then you have 18, 108. So this is say 16, 17, and 18. Okay, it's just about counting the boxes. I know it, it may look slightly technical, they can practice karki inshallah, this thing uh, comes to be good. Okay, so day 18 pe kya hai ji? 108. Okay, so this is 108, something here, something like this. And then of course we have day 21, which is this and 98, somewhere around. Achha ji. Ab usne ka hai, construct a graph of these results on the grid provided. Now, if uh, the graph has not stated instructions, what's the best way to draw the line? The best way to draw the line is that you have two points and you have root lines. Ke saath, is join karte if, unless or until he has stated otherwise that you have to draw a freehand line, you simply have to uh, grab two points and start joining them with a ruled line. Okay. Okay, something like this. And then once again, look at this. Now glue sisly draw karon so it just, just it stands out, okay? And then telescope exactly should join this. Okay, then it is this, and then it is this. Okay. Of course, I won't go beyond this because it's key beyond values, and I don't want to extrapolate. Now, I have a question, you know, I've deliberately done this. And if you, if you try and understand, do you really think that this is using 60% of a given space? It's actually not. No, sir. So it's, it's actually not. So what do you think we should be drawing? What do you think we should be drawing? Uh, you may get marks for this. You may get marks for this, but I'll tell you an easier way if this is a situation that is arising. Let's look at the marking points. So X axis labeled here, uh, we've labeled that. Uh, y axis labeled here, mass with the gram. So we get two marks, clear, accurate plotting we have, or ruled, aligned, ruled connections. They can say, by default, it should be ruled. So what I've done is I made ruled connections. Now, let's uh, look at the... Uh, Okay, um, can you hear me now? I'm sorry, I mini battery died. Coming back, sorry. All right, is everybody with me? Okay, challenge. Let's resume. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but is everybody with me? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. challenge. Did you put in? I it doesn't show it to me if she's wanting to come in. I can't see her uh, she's in. trying to get in. Okay, Charlie. The ability to read the results of an experiment and to present them in a different way was tested by the construction of a graph data provided in the table. The majority of the candidates chose correct axes, good scales, and plotted points accurately, but lines drawn were not always ruled and points of good curve. Now, uh, you may get all four marking points for this, but my advice would be to insert a break in the y-axis. What does a break in the y-axis mean? When you draw a staggered line, it means that you can start off with the, a higher value. Like for example, you can begin with 98. Okay. So if I did that and I began with, if I did a staggered line and I began with 98, my graph would have stretched out. Okay. It would have occupied more space. So the reason I did it like this is that if you don't select a good axis, you will find it challenging. So again, selection of the scale happens to be very important. So uh, calculate the loss of a uh, loss in mass of the banana fruit during three weeks. Okay, so uh, during three weeks, how do we calculate the loss? The, uh, the final mass was 98. The initial was 152. Anji, how do you think we calculate? 152, uh, minus 98. What's the answer? The answer happens to be 54 grams. 
ठीक है दावस फेली सिंपल चलें जी आगे आते हैं नाउ कमिंग टू द जी जी बताइए 